What's up friends and welcome to a new Bloomberg Standard video and today I felt like it was the perfect timing to have a look again at Simic Frogs which has I mean kind of looks very different from how I had initially built it um, weeks ago and now I think I'm getting to a deck that's pretty competitive honestly considering that you're playing frogs like you're never going to get like tier one but the deck is more than capable of holding a really solid win rate and feels really fun to play which is obviously very important so um, yeah this Simic Frog deck is just all about these one drops. Like the one drops are probably the strongest frogs um, that you can find. And with the one drops, I mean Mistbreath Elder and Valley Mightcaller. Mistbreath Elder, one mana, two, two. And at the beginning of your upkeep, return another creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do put a one one counter only in Mistbreath Elder, otherwise you may return Mistbreath Elder to its owner's hand. So this is a fantastic like bounce engine, which is kind of like what the frogs are looking for. Like you want to bounce around and uh, have the payoff for that as well. That's the, the whole like, you know, frog archetype in, in Bloomborough. Then we also have the Valley Mightcaller. This is probably the best frog in the whole deck. One mana, one one with Trample. And whenever another frog, Rabbit, Raccoon, or Squirrel you control enters, you put a one one counter on the Valley Mightcaller. And this thing just goes crazy in a deck like this where literally every card is basically one or two mana, <laughs> right? Like you could just play a Mightcaller on one, follow that up with two frogs, and like all of a sudden it's just going crazy. And then you have a huge Trample threat that if your opponent can deal with it, they're gonna get cooked by it. So yeah, the My Color is fantastic. And for that exact reason, I'm also running four copies of Mockingbird, our X Blue 1-1 one, one Bird Bard, and you may have it enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana value less than or equal to the amount of mana spent against Mockingbird. And equal is super important because it means that if I do X is zero, but I still play the Mockingbird, I can copy a one drop. So just be mindful of that. And it counts with everything, right? Like I only have to put X on two if I want to copy my opponent's Glissa, for instance. Like the Mockingbird is a lot better than you would initially like expect. And it's probably one of my favorite cards in blue at the moment in standard. So anyways, with all these frogs, we need some bounce targets as well, because that's what they like to do. So for that, we have the Sun Shower Druid and the Pond Prophet. There's also like the three tree scribe that you could use to bounce. Like this dude is kind of bounce like payoff and a good bounce the target itself. Um, same kind of goes for the Dwarport Mage. Um, well, not really, I guess, because the Dwarport Mage has other creatures. So you can't really bounce the Dwarport Mage and draw a card off it. But it does have a really sweet activated ability where you can make it be like bounce enabler as well. And then you have the payoff because you draw a card. So funny thing about the Dwarport Mage is that it also like draws you a card if you get Sunfall or something. Um, but ideally we avoid that. And that's why we also have four copies of Repulsive Mutation in the main here. A little bit of counter magic is super important and the sideboard has a lot more of that in there too with two copies of negate and two copies of phantom interference now one thing that i like about frogs one of the yeah i guess the most well not the most but i really like it is the fact that we have access to polywallop this is a four mana instant it was one that's a cast for each frog you control Target creature you control deals damage equal to twice its power to target creature you do not control. And this is just a fantastic fight spell, instant speed, and gets discounted based on the frogs we have. So perfect for a deck like this. But I'm also playing four copies of Heart Hitting Question 2. Um, I hate pieces of removal. It's quite a bit, but it works. So I'm not questioning it. Um, this is an 18, like, deck, 18 land deck though. And I do have Clement, the worry word in here too, to try and like, you know, balance it out a little bit. But if you'd like to go 20 lands or like 21 lands, just take out Clement, add some more lands. But in my experience, 18 lands just works a lot better than it should on MTG Arena. So for me, this ended up working out. Um, so let's get into the gameplay and you can check out some Simic Frog action for yourself. I really enjoy this deck. I think it's so much fun to play and I think it's capable of, you know, just getting you to Mythic if that's your goal, holding a positive win rate if that's your goal. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty hyped. Let's get into it. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and your support is greatly appreciated as always. And with that being said, let's bounce around with Simic Frogs. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. 20 lands, okay, this is weird. But I'll keep it. Me trying to stay QT in 2024. Me trying to stay mindful and demure in 2024, like absolute fail.
Absolute fail. But it's fine. Ooh, that's interesting. Get ourselves a Valley Might Caller. Against Fake Blade? E Fake Blade? Hand would be so nice. Like, I truly hope they don't cast a discard spell, but I think they'll run Hopeless Nightmare back. Bruh. Bruh. Is that what we're calling them? Verged Lance? <laughs> 20 lands! What are you doing? Okay, it's fine. Stay mindful, stay demure, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, at least Hopeless Nightmare doesn't hurt us, because we could just go to land. In our Pacific Ocean era. <laughs> yeah, sure are. Thriving in our Pacific Ocean era. Yeah, just remove my mic caller, I get. Magic. Pop in my Oak Hollow Village. All that white sus. I think I'm gonna look down. Um, they could. I mean, it kind of is some synergy with Lookdown and Feyblade, for sure. Because you can get all your permanents to re-enter, so maybe? Not sure. This is the part we remind the Arena Shuffler that we're a star. Yeah, we're whitelisted streamers. Don't forget it. Please give me normal draws. One time. Viper... Pulley wallop one time. Easy. We're pulley walloping. This is fine anyways, because I could shoot it. I give my caller flying. It's not a my caller, it's a bird. A mockingbird. We're vibing. Alright, we got through it though. And that's what matters. Oh, I like this. I'll just put Pawn Profit here. Perfect. Okay, this seems to be working a bit better. Maybe we're just an 18 land deck. It could be true. It could be true. So I'm gonna Exus Zero, Mockingbird, Poppy Valley, Might Caller. Could be they just remove the Might Caller now. I gotta try, and I gotta try to do it before going to combat, because... Right? They did the thing. Flashing. Flash flash. Like, what's going on with it? I don't care about spoilers. What does it do? Like, you get sleeves, XP. Probably gold, gems.
whole game they did. Oh. Choose your own adventure. Am I stealing their nurse rank pixie? I could see that. Draw some cards here. What is my color here, though? We're gonna splash splash portal. Get this dude. Throw my mockingbird. Swing. If they thought if they look me down, then I have the Veli Michael or Mockingbird to recover. We'll see if they do that though, I'm not sure. Let's we'll see what they end up doing. Raids! Definitely removing braids. You are too good. Love you though, braids. I still have a weird vibe that I'm about to get board wipes. I don't know. Yet, I guess. Alright, if they had a board fight, they would have rented it out by now, right? Surely. Anymore. I'm gonna grow my um my dudes. I think. Okay. Go frogs. This is looking pretty decent. The versatility of Mockingbird. I love it so much. What a card. What a card. Wait, are they not dead now? Okay. <laughs> sure. The bats I'll just hit with my like regular removal. And ideally, you know, I mean the Vraska combo is like a nine out of ten, or like a one out of ten, it doesn't you know, you one out of ten games you get it. This opponent just happened to have it, but it's not something I'm gonna like aggressively play around, I think. We're in a really good spot with his hand, though. We'll see what happens. Ah, you mad. Absolute whiff. Bye, bestie. We'll Mockingbird into another. It's vibes. Three Valley Mic Callers. Oh, that's an aggressive start if I've ever seen it. Holy shit.
The frog has been staring into your soul. It's trying to, yeah, take over. All right, you know what? For an 18 land deck, this kind of sucks. Yo, how's the trip going? Yeah, just traveled for like... I don't know, I left at like... Uh, I'm on Eastern time right now. I left at 9.30 and... I only arrived like an hour ago at my destination and now it's... Uh, so that would have been... 8. Like, I would say I got here like 7.30, so geez. I don't even want to know what that adds, adds up to again. <laughs> I fucking hate traveling for so long, so much. I really do hate it. Okay, I don't hate this actually. This is pretty decent. Mistbreath Elder is fine. I sometimes wonder if we need to go down to like three Mistbreath Elders, but you need your one drop frogs, so it's like. I don't know. Always the stupid bat. Stupid bet. Okay. That was pretty crazy. I'm gonna just do the Mistress Elder again and then we're gonna like Sun Shower Druid. Um Okay, here we go. Let's put it on here. Noises, because Libby. I'll put this on off because I don't know if the reflection hits. Anyways, that plug does not work. The stream died. Please be careful. Oh my god, she knocked it. Please be careful. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really... My reflection. No, it's, it's turned off. I, I turned my camera off. Don't worry about it. Why? Three minutes left. Oh. Or, like a part three. Sabotage. Um. Like one of these is oh. Okay, just don't mind the loud noises, chat. Libby is just being a menace. Let me think about this. Um. Perhaps spawn profit. I could also set up Doorport Mage. I feel like Doorport Mage is one of the most like awkward ones of them all, Loki. So maybe I just have to set it up. We just we just gotta thrive, right? We'll have to like cut her own this own set her own segment out of the the video. <laughs> Aggressive. Mockingbird, okay. I could copy a deep cavern bat. Is that what I'm doing? I think it is, chat. I think I'm copying the deep cavern bat. I could grow my own. Oh shit, everything's got reach? Okay, but I don't care too much about these. I guess I'll just go go for the throw. Splash this. Surely, surely, surely. So do I put it on the bat so that I can like survive the free strider lookout? That's probably the plan. Holy wallop. Uh, okay. I guess I could shoot the free strider lookout as well. I could shoot the bat too. We could shoot everything. <laughs> Wait a second. think about that. Holy well up free strider. Shoot deep cavern. Rewarded. Okay. 
That sounds right. Look at the, the life we gained out of that too. That's pretty sweet. Deep Cavern Bat and Fight Spells, the next like broken Golgari deck, I guess. Alright. I have some food here too, so that's why I'm like turn my camera off. I have not really eaten much at all today, but opponents named after a demon. Oh, okay. Good shit. Another polywellop. Hell yeah, I'll take it, dude. More life. 27 life with frogs. <laughs> sure. We're, we're visiting my, uh, my sister, who is in New York. So we're, oh, fuck. All right. Dude, there's no room. Yeah, we're visiting my sister, so... Somehow ended up being in the same place at the same time. What is this? Minus two, minus two? All right, we got a Vill. All right, snakeskin on bat. Snake it up. Rini, thank you for the, for the nine months. There you go. Thank you so much. This is return it. Mm, I'll draw. Because it'll make a good target. Ooh. Bounce it again. Draw two cards. I could copy another. I'll just do this, though. Dude, I think we're winning this. Let's go. Let's go. I should bring the, uh, the Kirby back that's eating. So you guys know what I'm up to. Eating core of returns. Oh fuck, not that. Shit. Do I just commit? I feel like I just commit, right? Just go in with as much as we can. Yeah, I'm just I'm just having some food, so in a second, I guess. Opponent, you're cooked. Like, go ahead and play that Liliana. Let's go. We won. I'm saying there's something to these frogs, guys. There's something to them. There's something to them. Like there's there's vibes. I'm catching vibes. Kind of fire. Good start. Good lance as well. Especially knowing that I won't draw any more of the top, hopefully, right? I'm gonna go for like max value, I think. Max value. Keep covered bat. Pom pom pom. Of course, there's always a bat. How? Always a bat. I can find him though. Problem with that is that it's not really good for much right now. Shut up. Pump up cam. Bounce. Cam up again.
choose your own adventure short you got coffee i think it's short in general like there's not that many doors it's a very short choose your own adventure style thing but you know they had somebody make that when they could have also just given us like a thousand gems which choices <laughs> choices Made a lot of people a lot more happier with um, the other option, but it's fine. It's fine. It's it's all good. Don't worry about it. This is uh, what a game. What is this? A turn four froggy win? Not mad at that at all. Turn four win frogs. Hell yeah! Got you guys like still see something? <laughs> like, uh, are we okay? I don't know. Like my my. Bitrate still is- I'm still dropping frames. Though. So. Nah. Seems better now. I'm still- I'm still consistently dropping frames. So. This is bad. Yeah, we're probably on like a massive delay as well now. Nah, it's not good still. Not good. Well, shit. Nah, it's not good. You guys will be hearing this like many, many, many Okay, well, definitely like a few minutes after I'm talking, which is not good. Fuck. Ah. We're cooked. Cooked! Nice draft deck, hell yeah. Hmm. It's weird. Sorry, it's like a late to see the broadcaster. Yeah. It's getting green again on my end though, at least. And I just as I said that it's turned red again. Fuck. Nah. The internet's cooked. This is I'm winning with frogs, god damn it. Not fair. This is, this is not fair. This is a crime. A crime against frogs everywhere. Can't be doing this. The frog crime. Crime against frogs everywhere. Shit. Just we're clapping Ogari as well. It's so nice. Sorcery speed go for throat. We love to see it. Splish Splash Portal. Yo, Lascotch, thank you for the 18. Um, the deck is kind of thriving, though. Like, I will give you that. It is kind of thriving. I'm pretty happy with this. 
We're doing good. Much better than the internet is. Hooked. Wins the game, I believe. Splash portal on Valley My Caller, or gets Splash Portal Portal on Sun Shower on My Caller. Hitting for seven. It's dominant performance. Don't mind me just inhaling the last bits of my food. <laughs> Alright, good. Even though I could inhale more, but I feel like it's taking so long at this point. Okay. That is a blessed draw. What am I up against? Blue white control. So, really good. We have caverns. We also have a lot of counter magic, which I love too. But I think we just gotta like hold that up all the time to like respect temporary lockdown. But I think as long as we do that, we'll be okay. So let's hope for the best, guys. No temporary lockdown is going to stop these frogs. Oh, it's Jeskai. Hold up. Domain for Rhyme and Mountain? Is that because they play um, Imidane? I mean, I have to stop that, right? Like, I got, I gotta stop that, so. Okay. It's like Imidane version then. Uh, maybe it's a NIF version, I guess, a NIF Mizzet version. I'm done with my food. I inhaled that as fast as I could. Fuck. I'm actually surprised at the um, 
the lack of aggro decks that we're running into. It's all just slow mid-range or control. So not sure what's up with that. But anyway. I don't really know what to do about this. Okay, so tap it to return. Yo, thank you for 12. Are you excited for the new expansion? Yeah, of course. I think it looks very strong. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Should be another like exciting shakeup for standard at least. But there's also some like problematic elements to it that make me a little scared. Like that red ley line and another like three power spell. Like prowess feels more than strong enough already, but now it's gonna get even better. Agro players all in diamond already. <laughs> that might be true, I guess. Ready for the Jolly Balloon Man? Yeah, I, I I was capable. I like I played with the Jolly Balloon Man in Commander the other day. It's pretty sick. I was feeling pretty jolly, copying a bunch of like burn ETB creatures. It's pretty sweet. Arriving, if you will. Thanks forever to win in magic. Good thing they sped it up to turn two to get turn two kills. Yeah, thank God. We weren't gonna, you know, who wants to be in a game for longer than a minute? Not me. Who could take the time out of their day? I just know they're gonna remove in response. I just know it. <laughs> Stupid shit. Okay, I'm out of here. So we're gonna get rid of this, we're gonna get rid of this. We'll play the pick your poisons, I'll play some of the gains and interferences, and hopefully this will do the trick at beating their ass. Sounds pretty good to me. I mean, this is not great either, but it's fine. This is Garfield intended. It sure is. It sure is. The true definition of it just as Garfield intended dot deck. You know. Hmm. Start off with this guy. I'm just fixing my uh settings here i think we're fine again Kirby, thank you for your service keeping chat company i'm gonna be able to put this on again now miss breath elder solo challenge difficulty easy ish at least we don't have to worry about like turn two ley lines. <laughs> Trying to stay positive. Damn, we were off to such a good start, and now it's like looking kind of rough. I'll just put the mic caller. Like, not that the mic caller makes a good blink target, but it buffs up the mist breath, so then it's still fine. Okay. We can make it work. Ooh, 
It does represent a lot of life gain, but is it that much of a threat whenever you cast a spell? Probably. It also fixes their colors, it ramps them. Yo, no way. We're playing Frog Tempo. I like that though. Anytime I can counter a spell from Domain, I'm happy. Five life of that over and over. That would fucking suck. What is that? Cavern? Shit! Not the Cavern of Souls. Nar. Nar. Read 60p? Thought the stream was deep fried? Is it, the stream isn't 360p, right, guys? Yeah, it shouldn't be. Yo, minus. It should just be like. Equally. Oh, okay, just the fault to it? Sure. I was about to say, I was getting a little worried. <laughs> I was getting a little worried. The sweet city view. It's true. True. Okay. Hope the audio quality has gotten a little bit better too. I feel like we're finally getting into it now. A little bit. Fuck's sake, why are there so many fucking angels? Hello? You guys you guys like not maybe? Alright, excuse the terrible audio. Um, for some reason my microphone is not working now. Just as I said, at least we're getting like someone back into it. It immediately got fucked, so... As usual. Let me fix it, though. thing ever work. Tragic. Okay. There we go. How awful. Oh, okay. Axis one. Play it safe. So close. So close. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no, bestie. 
Let's not do that. So now they're gonna have to be on like chomping duty. So whenever one or more creatures you control leave the battlefield or die and draw a card. So I can also just Okay, what are you Hello? The absolute fucking greed of that attack. Holy shit. You really didn't think I was gonna have one frog? Alright. The overconfidence of the domain player. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, like, I literally, for me to, like, win the game there, I just needed one frog. Okay, dude. Thanks for win, I guess. Running it back. Alright, chat. What do you think? Keep or mole? I'm honestly thinking about mulling it because I feel like having like one of those like powerful one drop threats is so important. But yeah, is it just too slow on the draw? Yeah. Probably is, right? I guess, like, the last thing we want is to be in the late game against Domain. This looks a bit better. I think it was a uh, disciplined mulligan on our part. We knew that, you know, it's, it's hard to say no to so many lands and, like, such great answers, but gotta... Okay. So now we have all payoff, no pump. Good evening, Implode. How are you? A good eater. All right. <laughs> Please stop. We're an 18 month deck. You can you can chill. Don't worry about it. That's another like payoff effect. I mean, I'd rather have a counterspell at that point, you know? We're growing the pawn profit ourselves. At least the opponent has no instant, so no get lost. I don't know if they couldn't have guessed Leyline. They could now. I do have picture poison, but then, like, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, bestie. Okay. Oh, this is dangerous. A dangerous game to play. Your subversary? Hold on. Oh, I see it. Seek, thank you for the 24. Thank you. And Xenoroth, thank you for the 7 as well. Appreciate you guys so much. Sorry about that. I'm working with like my little phone as my second monitor. The setup definitely uh, <laughs> did decline a bit. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're going to get through it. This is definitely a rougher one. Thank you both so much. Temporary lockdown. So if I do sacrifice an enchantment, they're going to give me back on profit, which I guess I'm not mad at. Where are my counter spells? Dude. Thanks, bestie. Draw two? I mean, I could have drawn more, but these counter spells don't flood, please. <laughs> I'm fucking bestie. I'm playing 18 lands, okay? Like, what the fuck are you doing? It's giving, it's giving curse. It's giving. Yeah, no, it's just giving curse. I can't say anything else. They didn't want to overcommit there in case they had a sunfall. Like the back to back would fucking destroy me. Do I just save this mockingbird till they cast the tracks on? 
Oh, shit, I might have to, honestly. It, it might be my only hope to just save the burb till I get to steal their Atraxa. Like, this is an absolute, like, worst-case scenario where Frogs tries to grab the Nightmare. Personified. Okay, it's fine. It's a plan. We have a plan. It's better than doing nothing. And now you're gonna sunfall me. Fuck you, I'm drawing a card. Oh my god, it's another land and another land. <sighs> I would say, like, is this a record? Like, we have a 20% chance of hitting a land right now. There are eight lands left in the deck. 37 cards. What the fuck? Ah, that's just unfair. You know, it's just not fair. Magic the Gathering is a fun game where, you know, fair magic happens and RNG never impacts the game. <laughs> this is so fucking... And then Elish Norn shuts down my Mockingbird. How cruel. Sure, dude. Alright. That was just set up the fail with all the lands we had, you know? No way to go around that one. Thank you.